Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer here to kick off round one for Group D. Group D with two former champs in, probably one of the more intriguing groups of this group stage. And, well, let's not dilly-dally, let's have a look at our fight card for this video. So, you can see our main event of this evening, it is the return of Gazmaniac, taking a crack at the upstart Dino fans. But before that, we've got D-Team taking on Epic Brad, two newcomers, that'll be our first match. Then we have Ultimate Dino King, our former champ, taking a crack at Morslet. Another former champ in Diddy Darius taking a crack at the rookie M-Steel. And all that before our main event, which should promise to be an absolute belter of a main event. Right, enough chit-chat. Let's do our first match, shall we? <laughs> oh, and the Colosseum. Um, I don't think either of our guys have a secret dinosaur. Right, in the red corner for DT, we have got Super Chomp. <laughs> An interesting team to say the least. Gabool! Um, not much to say, we'll see how this guy goes in this tournament. Yeah, this could be an even contest. I don't think either side has an edge here. A clear one, anyway. Right, in the blue corner, representing Epic Brad, we have got a Alpha Chasmosaurus. So we're going to have a Clash of Lightning types to begin this match. Both of these two do have Dino Tectors in second. Epic Brad has Spiny and D-Team has Ace. So this could have been a main event. But I wanted to do the anticipated return of Gazmania. Sorry, you two. Ooh, Dino Stuffer being used right away. Right, that's one. And it's Kaznosaurus getting the first hit on the board. Twice. But Chomp does have that Awaken mode to rely on if he needs it. And Chomp does respond, and it is a Gatling Spark. Boosh! And it'll be our wait, wait time. A back and forth start so far, but I feel like this is a good opportunity here for D-Team to take an early lead. And he takes it! Big hit from the D-Team. Well, well, they're going to face a familiar foe here, because coming in next for Epic Brad, we've got Spiny Dinotector. Spinosaurus! <laughs> well, from the matches I've done so far, Dinotectors seem to have a big sway in matches. More so in 3v3s than in 2v2s, because you get more time to build up the armor bar on that. So D-Team's gonna have to be careful here. Now with the Awaken mode gone, Chomp's HP will be halved. So while D-Team is in the lead, it's not much of a lead. But they are extending that lead. It's a good showing from Chomp so far. Chomp does have type advantages, but can he take advantage of it? Ooh, good hit from Spiny. He's not gonna do much damage though. Because of said type disadvantage. And in fact, I think Chomp could probably tank another two hits. Oops, hi. Oh, how big could that be? Oh, that could be big from Chomp. Oh, jeez, you almost killed it. Oh, that's spiny not looking good so far. Really needs to get rid of this chomp ASAPs. Okay, he does. But at what cost? Because Spiny took an absolute lashing. Right then. Representing D-Team's second dino, we have got Ace Dino Tactor. Well, we're at an interesting turn of events here, because Spiny... It, it took out Chomp, but it did take a beating. 
so a good opportunity here for D team to extend their lead. Spiny really needs to start getting hits here. I mean, they'll need two hits to get to the Dino Tactic. It's gonna be tough, but that's, that's good. That's a step in the right direction. And Epic Brad coming back into this contest. Badoosh. Oh, wow. Half health gone. Tower Cannon hits really hard, doesn't it? Oh, but that tie is going to be costly. And Spiny goes down. Oh, we do have a secret dinosaur. Epic Brad has one. It's Ferrazinosaurus. You know what that means. Because this fairy does have terrain advantage, it will get the next hit, which will be a paper hit. So let's uh, get that terrain advantage over with. Ooh, that could be a crucial hit there for an epic Brad. Oh, the Dino Illusion has been triggered. Attack boost getting activated there. Epic Brad coming back into this, but Dino DT still has the lead. Okay, there goes the Dino Illusion. Woo! Poof! <laughs> And because of the Dino Illusion, the uh, attack boost doesn't activate. Okay, there it is. Down goes Ace. The attack boost is maxed up, and I'd have to say... Mm, I think Epic Prad has the upper hand here. Get lost. <laughs> right. Up next for D-Team's third and final Dino is, you guessed it, it's Super Paris. Wow, this has been a really tight match so far between two newcomers. Really good to see. Because with, with Ultimate and Diddy Darius in this group, every point is vital in Group D. So whoever wins here, it'll be a really good start for them. Whoever loses, you know, they're going to have to claw it back. Now, I should remind you that the top four in each group do go through to the last 32. But the consensus here is that Ultimate and Diddy are probably going to be those top two slots. I mean, I could be wrong. I always am, but... We'll see. And look at this! Well, Paris needs the next hit here. Oh, it's not it's a tie, but it's not going to be enough. Paris goes down, and Epic Brad gets their first win of the tournament. And it's well played by Epic Brad. As for D-Team, well, they'll, they'll be licking their lip wounds here, and uh, better luck next time. Right, on to our next contest. Ooh, we're on the Sunset Beach field. Okie dokie, in the red corner, representing Ultra Dino King, we've got Imeosaurus. This Ainiosaurus, don't be fooled by its weak stats. It packs a punch. The Thunder Bazooka definitely whacks, packs a wallop. Uh, Sunset Beach favours water types, which is good news for actually both of our combatants, because both of our combatants have water types. Okay, representing Moors in the blue corner, we have got Gondwana Titan, the little sauropod with the big heart, as you say. Well, as I say. So both our guys are going to have terrain advantage, so Morslet will get the first hit here. That's good terrain advantage rules, and it's a power drain. Just the start you want if you're Morsey. Oh, look at him go, he's <laughs> I, I love Gone on a Titan so much. Ooh, and that triggers the Futaba Cannon as well. Oh, but that's a big crit. Just the response you want from Ainiosaurus. Jeez, look at that! Massive hit by Ultimate. 
I mean, it does have type advantage, mind you. Ooh, look at that! This Ainiosaurus is an absolute can-opening bull. And just like that, gone one of Titan bites the dust. Well, not the good start there, if you're more Right, coming in next for them, we've got Allosaurus. Not Allosaurus Atrox or Alpha Allosaurus, just Stone Cold Straight Up Allosaurus Frigates. Hmm, Moore's going to have to claw this back here. Ultimate has opened up a decent lead. The type advantage really proven crucial there. Oh, that's not good. Okay, not too much damage done now. But Morza really can't afford to get hit by a crit. Okay, there we go. Dodged the bullet there. Got the tie bomb. A tie bomb will help if it's a tie. The Hymiosaurus will definitely go down. Which means there will be no Plasma Anchor. Well, they don't need, she don't need the tie bomb because the Allosaurus gets the hit anyway. And down goes Ainiosaurus and down goes Ultimate's lead. It will be extended though, because coming in next for Ultimate, we have got Satiosaurus. Satiosaurus with a terrain advantage, meaning Ultimate will get the next hit, and it'll be a rock hit. Now, don't underestimate this Satiosaurus because it is willpower type, and if it can get off a Futaba Cannon, that Futaba Cannon can do a severe amount of damage. Okay, not much of a hit, but that Shockwave, though, does make things a bit more awkward for Morse up there. As per the Shockwave rules, Ultimate will be going for Rock yet again. Oh, and yet again, getting the hit. Okay, that's a tie. Interesting, because the ties probably suit both of us. Probably ultimate more because he has the lead. But Allosaurus is charge type, I believe, so it does deal a decent amount of damage. But the ties do wear him out, and the down goes Allosaurus. Right, coming in third for Morsla, we have got Pachycephalosaurus. With his five fingies of awesomeness. And his spiky, thick, domed head. Actually, what type are you? I think you're... I hope you're type... I hope you're not Blitz type. Hang on, guys. I need to double chat. Okay, yeah. She is Tai Tai. <laughs> Ooh, that's another tie. But all this ties... Okay, let's... Let's see how much damage this softening beam does. Because we've had quite a lot of ties here, and I do believe the willpower type damage does stack tie after tie after tie. Oh, maybe not. Although Satyosaurus' power is all in the crit, but it's still a decent hit by ultimate there, and ties will definitely favour him now. Oh, that's it, that's it, that's it. All over. Game over for Morsla. And it's going to be a bonus point win for Ultimate Dino King. Satyosaurus cleaning house. Because there's no way on this planet the Pachycephalosaurus was surviving that. Wow. Ty's playing a big role in this matchup, and Ultimate Dino King played them better. As for Morsa, good effort, but that that, that, those big hits really made the difference. Okie dokie, on to our third matchup now. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Diddy Darius, we have got Stomachosaurus, and on this field, actually, both our guys are going to have terrain advantage, because both teams have lightning dinosaurs, so Diddy Darius will get the first hit in this match. Right, in the blue corner, representing the newcomer, M Steel, we got Super Tarbisaurus, a dinosaur I know quite well. It does have death fire, mind you, so Diddy Darius is going to have to watch out for that death fire. Uh, wait, the mode on three? 
But before we do any of that, we need to give Strachosaurus the first hit because it has terrain advantage. Defense boots activate in there. Okay, that's one. Ooh, that's a crit from the Starak. This is a good start from the former champ. The Thunder Bazooka is going to pile drive into the Tarmosaurus. Defense boost maxing out. And Deathfire didn't get triggered. That's a big blow for the rookie. Ooh, but it does but it does respond with a crit. And that means Tarmosaurus will last. Oh, jeez. That was his crit. Okay, well, he does have the Awaken mode. He's going to need it here. And get set. This Magma Blaster is going to do a lot of damage to Saracosaurus. It was a bit of a poor start from M Steel, but they're getting right back in this match and he killed it. Well, from nowhere, M Steel is in the lead. Right, for Diggy Darius' second dino, we got Stegosaurus. Going. Well, beware of the crit of Stegosaurus. That crit does a severe amount of damage. But remember, M Steel does have Pentaceratops coming in next, which does get terrain advantage. Well, where has this come from? After a good start from Diddy Darius, it is M Steel who's on top. Okay, there it is. Down goes Tarbisaurus. Oh, it's a Venom fan. Gonna poison it to death. Um. Well, steady the ship there, Diddy Darius. They needed that hit. Right, coming in next for MC, we've got Penty Ceratops. With terrain advantage, of course, which means it's actually gonna get off a crit. And even better, it won't be a it won't be a Gatlin Spark either. So the crit will do normal damage. Boosh. So M Steel extending his lead, and look at this! It's an electric charge. Can Diddy Darius pull this back? Ooh, that's a tie. Another tie. Remember though, one crit from the stag can change everything. Oh, but he doesn't get it! Instead, is M Steel going into the lead? And Stegosaurus goes down. Right, coming in for Diddy's third dino, we got Kakarodontosaurus. And Diddy Darius is in big trouble here because. M Steel's third dino is Ampelosaurus. And this Pentaceratops is looking mightily impressive. Ooh. I this, this would be a big result for M Steel. Can they see it home? Okay, there's a crit from the Kark. Did the Darius get in the crit they needed? But Kakarodontosaurus' moves are pretty balanced, so. This crit won't do much damage. M Steel responding with a hit back, though. This is a really good showing from the newcomer. And look at this! M Steel on the brink of the win. Ooh, but Kakiradontosaurus. A much needed recovery as well. And a neck crusher. Oh, Counter Blitz has been triggered. Oh, that crit would have done it, but Pentaceratops instead gets the hit. Look at this! One hit away from the win! Ooh, tie. 
And that's a tie. Oh, look at this. Pentaceratops goes down finally, but Ampelosaurus comes in. And yeah, unless Diddy Darius gets like four hits in a row, which could happen, I think Ensteel is going to pull off the upset. <laughs> and there it is! It's M Steel's victory! And Diddy Darius tasting defeat at the hands of the newcomer. And you have to say, that's an impressive performance from M Steel so far. Well, that was a, probably our first big upset of this tournament. And I'm sure there'll be many more to come. Now then, on to our main event of this evening, the long-anticipated return of Gasmaniac. Right, let's go with this main event. And in the red corner, representing Gasmaniac, we have got Alpha Kentrosaurus. And this is actually a good field if you're Dino fan. Because this Ceratosaurus will have terrain advantage in this matchup. Could that be crucial? Long anticipated return of Gasmaniac to my tournament. But in the blue corner, representing Dino fans, we have got the Tarbisaurus, the Blitz type Tarbisaurus. Which means that Dino fans will be starting with two crepes. Now I do like this Tarbo move set. You know, if it doesn't get the crep, and the opponent's crep happens to be rock. He got the dino stuff to protect it, which is the case in this matchup because Kentro's crit is rock. Oh, I'm almost bought to that. Ha! Clicked it on 10. Okay, that's a tie. Oh, and well, there you go, you're gonna see it play out. This Gasmania would have got a crit there, but the dino stuffer said no no no. Okay, so not an ideal start for Dino fans here, but. No, that's, that's the risk with Blitz types. Oh, oh, he gets the crit there, though. <laughs> he gets it anyway. But doesn't get the uh, Blitz type damage bonus. But it is a good start from Dino fans. Tarbosaur is looking strong early on. Oh, hello. We got a Flare Sword, I think. Yes, we do. It always likes the emulator Flare Sword. Not sure why. And this is a very good start from Dino fans. And down goes Kentosaurus. Dino Gaz Gazmaniac yet to land a shot. Right, coming in next for Gazmaniac, we got Tar Torvasaurus. A uh, hunter type, I believe, so it will benefit from the fact that Tarvasaurus did take a little bit of damage. But, as I said, Gazmaniac yet to land a shot in this match. Well, they would have got the crit early on, but the Dino stuff has said no. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, oh, no, good. I thought the, uh... Oh, wow, another hit from Tarbisaurus. I thought the number generator was playing up. Ooh, Gasmania does respond with a crit. And it's his iconic move, Death Grind. Probably is their favourite move, because they always use Death Grind. And that was a big hit there from Gasmaniac. And they needed it. Oh, oh. But God, Dino fans does respond with another hit. It's a Neck Crusher. Which is an odd choice for Tarbosaurus, but it's their choice. Ooh, that's a tie. And that's a big crit, but the... Oh, it's Dino Stifer from Gaz Maniac this time, denying Dino fans the crit and the possible 2 0 lead. Although, I think Ceratosaurus will probably kill Tarbosaurus. Will kill the Torvosaurus if it comes to that, but I don't think it's going to because Tarbosaurus is going to put Dino fans 2 0 up. Right, coming in next for Gaz Maniac. We have got Super Titanosaurus, and it's going to have to pull its weight here. 
It's got the awakening mode though, so I wouldn't count Gaz Maniac out yet. Oh my god, my voice broke. <laughs> Oh my goodness, is Ga Dino Fans going to win 3-0? Ooh, Aqua Vortex getting triggered. We have another tie in this match. Oh, hello, we got Flare Sword. Look at this, Tarbosaur is a cleaning house. Okay, that's one. Okay, finally the Tarbosaurus goes down. But, in next for Dino fans, it is Ceratosaurus and it does have terrain advantage, so it will get a hit. Luckily though, for Gasmania, it will not be its crit, it will be Scissors, which is one of his weaker moves. So it's not too doom and gloomy. And if Titanosaurus can survive to the awaken mode, I think Gasmania can get back in this contest. Almost forgot to do it then. <laughs> Getting carried away there. Okay, so yeah, not too much damage. Okay, that's twice. Ooh, that's a tie. And it's Gasmania getting the crit. And you know what that means. It's a wait quick time. Now, this makes things interesting, to say the least. And he gets the hit! And, well, I'd say all of a sudden, but, uh, it's gonna be a super death grind. Boah! Pounded into the dirt. I'd say all of a sudden, Dino Fans is in trouble, but, uh, one tile kill the Titanosaurus, but... Right, coming in third for Dino Fans, we got Tank. Gazmaniac has been playing catch-up this whole match. Right, sorry about that. But people like to call me at inconvenient times when I'm recording, you see. Right, back to our main event. And um, Dino Fans is probably about to win. And yeah, there it is. You know, late fight back from Gasmania, but it is Dino Fans' is victory. And well played by Dino Fans, claiming the three points. But I do feel missed opportunity to get the bonus point win. That being said, a win is a win in this tournament, and I'm sure they'll gladly take it. We will have a look at how Group D stands, and we will end the session. Right, that's how Group D looks. Ladies and gentlemen, Ultimate Dino King topping it after their bonus point win over Morslet. And then we have Dino Fans, M Steel, Epic Brad getting off to winning start. Definitely the upset of the tournament so far. Has to be has to be M Steel beating Di Diddy Darius. I don't think many people would have saw that coming. But yeah, that's going to end this session yet. No, not really much to say about the table. It's still early days. And until next time, ta-ta.